Will Hunter now gets the next snap, and pressure's coming once again. He steps up, rolls right, throws, and it is intercepted, but was it inbounds? Yes, it was. Interception. And That's just Joshua Duncan steps in front of it at the one-yard line, holds on to it. As you can see on the screen as you're watching at home, fakes the handoff, does pull him. Pressure comes once again, and another nice move by Pullum. He runs out. It is intercepted. The Crusaders have it this time. And a big hit on the far sideline, but not before the Crusaders had the football. Hunter fakes the handoff, throws end zone, touchdown to Maje Rooks on the reception. And the Crusaders strike first here at homecoming to take a 6-0 lead over the Hawks. PAT hits the upright. And it is no good. And here we go. Tyler Pullum brings his team out. Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Throws and a nice catch and a big pickup for the Hawks. All the way down across the 40-yard line. That's Ross on the catch again. He's been heavily involved. Joseph Ross on the reception. He's kicking to Matthew Martin, who's standing on his own 40. Here's the high snap. Martin Warper is blocked in the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown, Crusaders. And who falls on that? It is going to be Adrian McGee. Told you almost got to the last one. They got to that one. Big third down play right here for the defense. Absolutely is. Here's the snap. Pull him looking deep. He's got a man. And what a catch down near the 37-yard line. How about that, DJ Walter? Excuse me, was that Fort? That was Sutton. Sutton on the reception. Sutton on the reception. Helmet comes off after he goes to the ground. He leaves the field, but not after he picked up the first down for the Hawks. My apologies. Juan Sutton on the reception. One to the right. Looking left. And a quick throw in the center. Sutton going the other way. He's Nothing going. But Green for Aaron Watson, number two of the day. And this time he takes it to the house. Pick six. Homecoming style at Yon Stadium. I see no flags on the field, Cole. 70 yards. What a play by Aaron Watson. Sideline interference after the interception against the intercepting team. 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Will be first down for North Greenville. One to the right. Foos in there. And here's the fake handoff, quick throw, and it's going to be caught. A nice pickup, and Foose on the left side. He has a lot of real estate and finally brought down inside the 20. What a nice run after the catch by Bobby Foose. Down to the 16, 15-yard line where they're going to mark it on the 15. <clears throat> Let's see what they do, pass or throw. Hunter still in shotgun formation. Snap, handoff. And it's going to be, they needed one. They picked up six. Touchdown, Crusaders. Touchdown, E.J. Humphrey. That's how you answer a pick six that's negated by Finley. You just drive down the field and score. He lines up on the far side. Pullum drops back, gets the snap. Pressure's coming, and he's going to get sacked around the 22, 23-yard line. And the Crusaders defense, Tom, stepped up big. There's six guys coming, and here they come, a quick pass, and they're going to center it up, and a broken tackle, and it is going to be six points. A touchdown pass to Elijah Gilbert, and what should have been a tackle around the 12-yard line ends up a touchdown. Pretty good timeout for the Hawks over there. They got it worked out, <laughs> drawn up good. I think seven guys playing deep. Here's the handoff. And it's going to be about a seven-yard pickup, and that is going to be it as the clock sounds. And that was Jarvion Miller-Norman on the handoff. And we'll go to the halftime break. Homecoming festivities going on. 20-7, to North Greenville on top. Every time he releases the ball, somebody's in his face. As 
you know, he gets rid of it that time. And it is almost, it is intercepted, and it is going the other way. The Crusaders have the football, trying to see who caught it. That's going to be Jacob Harper. Jacob Harper. How about that? Harper gets it. A couple of tips out there, and he's the one that comes up with it. Jacob Another turnover. Harper. Two That's turnovers a, in the second half already. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big turnover. Jacob Harper, that ball was tipped, and Harper it was actually popped by a couple of guys, Tom, and Harper came up with it. Downs, his longest reception was a 44-yarder. He averages 66 a game. Hunter throws middle of the field. It's caught, and a broken tackle, and we have a foot race to the end zone down the 22-yard line and a big pickup. That's a Catafomo nice play. Catafomo heard us talking about him, and he's going to get a big reception all the way down into shorter territory. Almost to the red zone, two yards shy of the red zone. We know that last catch, he got five yards, and you said he was averaging 13, so now he just upped his average, make, make up with a five-yarder. Right. On the clock, second and 22. Hunter takes the snap. Plenty of time. He throws, end zone. He's got a man, and it is going to be caught for a touchdown. Ken Drummond gets the Crusaders on the board for the first time in the second half. 34-yard touchdown pass. I saw that develop. He was on the 20-yard line. And he just blew right by the defensive back. Quarterback saw him and just laid it out there. E.J. Humphrey to his right. Here's the snap. Hunter looks left. He finds Belak. Belak breaks a tackle to the 35-40. Still breaks a tackle. He's to the 40, to the 30. Nobody between Belak and the end zone, and he's going to take it to the house. Crusaders find Pater. And that's a big... Run after the catch, yardage after the catch was important there, Tom, for yeah. the Crusaders. Broke two tackles, stayed inbounds, outran the defender the rest of the way. 75-yard touchdown pass, but about 65 of it was after the catch. A big run after the catch, as you said, from Kyle Belak, and it's 33-7. to Crusaders can sit here and let the clock run out, but they're going to snap it. Will Hunter looking deep. He's got a man, and is that Catafomo on the far sideline? It is. First down yardage. A big pickup. Catafomo goes out of bounds to stop the clock at 12 seconds. In shotgun formation, as he always is. Here's a snap. He's looking left side fade pattern, and it's a beautifully thrown football, and it is a beautiful catch. But they're saying it was caught by they're Shorter. A, they're saying it was an interception. Number eight for... Shorter, Dennis Bailey came I up. I thought Demage came down. Well, it was a jump ball. They both came down up with it, and they're going to say the defender snatched it away from him before he mm -hmm. completed possession. I'd like to see that again. Ruling on the field, this ball was intercepted. It's a touchback. Ball's placed on the 20-yard line, first at the, down. At the last minute, it was grabbed. Demage caught it, went down with it, and at the very last minute, it was grabbed away. Uh, for the Hawks, still looking to pick up their first win and a broken tackle, a nice move, and Wright's going to get near the goal line, but a late flag comes out. And I think this one's on North Greenville. Here's the white hat. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct foul, number 56 on the offense. Shorter's elected to take that penalty on the succeeding kickoff. There's one try. So they give him the touchdown, they even though the referee the never touchdown. threw his hands up. Never threw his hands. That's why I never called it a touchdown, because he never threw his hands up. Referee, yeah, never never gave the well, sign for a touchdown. Not, not falling to the bottom, starting off strong. And here's another handoff, fighting hard across the 30 down to 29-yard line. A little bit more pushing and shoving going on. and That ought to be it. That should do it. That should be your final.